In association with Leather Hide Store, fine upholstery leather since 2004. Hi guys, I'm Willie Sandry. Today we're going to look at leather upholstery techniques for working a corner when doing a project like this, a dining chair slip seat in leather. So stick around, we'll check it out. So this is what we want the project to look like when we're done. Nice clean corners without too many visible wrinkles. We're working with leather. It's nice to have a good straight edge and a really sharp pair of leather shears. Uh, household scissors just won't do the trick. Leather is really nice to work with, very forgiving, so just cut an oversized piece and stretch it out over your cushion base. Most people do pretty well up to this point, but sometimes it's working the corner where it gets a little more difficult. Remember to include vent holes if you have a solid wood or plywood base. So here we're working towards the corner. We've stapled, um, staying a few inches away from the corner, and we're going to do what's called a dog ear technique. Um, the leather kind of forms the shape of a dog ear as we come around the corner, and so you'll want to pull the leather particularly tight in this case and set one to two staples in the corner there. Uh, this staple often has to be removed later in the process and now we can just create micro pleats as you work towards the corner it's a nice way to manage a little bit of the excess bulk as you head into the corner sometimes we'll have too much slack moving into the corner and you'll have to pull a staple or two to readjust a heat gun is really useful to soften the leather make it much more workable more micro pleats here as we approach the corner and this is working out pretty well on this approach I feel like I'm gonna make it without too many visible wrinkles although I may have to pull that initial dog ear staple that's often the case though I don't worry too much about that now let's see how we do on the other side trying to create more micro pleats. It's okay as long as they're under the surface of the seat cushion. They won't be seen. Here we have a little excess bulk. So we'll give it a, a go with the heat gun and see if we can soften it enough to lay down. But oftentimes you'll need to pull one or two staples around the dog gear to get this to really lay down right for you. So let's pull two staples, one out at the corner and the original dog ear staple. If we just release those two staples, I think that'll give us the slack we need. A dull pair of wire cutters are really your friend for pulling some of these staples that need to be reset. And now I think this is going to work just fine. All the wrinkles seem to be on the underside of the cushion now. So I think we'll be able to come around the corner just as we intended. Looks good from the top side and that's the main thing. And now we can trim the excess leather underneath the cushion and add a dust cover. This is just a non-woven dust cambric available at most fabric stores. Fold under the edges and staple it in place. If your cushion came out well, you'll have a nice looking dining chair in leather that'll last for years to come. I hope this helps with your upholstery project. Good luck with it.